Channel switch. Good morning, good afternoon. Hi, Jim. Hello, Jim. Hi, Jim. I can't see the server. So maybe they really shut me down for good. <laughs> I see it. No, I didn't. I joined via the IP address, so we get a couple minutes oh. earlier. I, I yeah, posted. Yeah, I, too. I posted Most the IP us. for you. Yeah, that's the way to go. No, it's okay, Tim. Yeah. I, yeah, but, I, I but, just found out it's better to be late on an AAT task than early. So <laughs> I'll stay behind. Yeah, but uh, you should copy it from uh, the Denmark. Uh, Yet. Yeah, you don't have to use it, but you can put it in your multiplayer and have it saved there for what, if you do. Oh yeah, thank you. This is you not an it. AAT task. Oh, sorry. I, I thought it was an AAT. No, it's just a regular task. Oh, Tim, you are faster. Okay. Only a minute, Geert. <laughs> yeah, I see. 60 seconds. Oh, ha. Oh, thank you for the service. Yes, yes. Yeah, just save it and you can use it every time. You don't even need to go to the server page. Yeah, thank you very much, Tim. Put it in at yeah. uh, 1728 and the server is up. Yeah, I do it always. And Andreas back in Switzerland? Yes, back in Switzerland, yes. Yeah, you went to uh, the cloud fest you wrote in Germany? Yes. That's right, yes. And how was it? Was it a party? Each evening was an event, yes, in the evening. And uh, next time I will go less. Uh, Less, less of uh, events. Okay. okay. Sorry, I have to mute your YouTube channel. Yeah, you yeah. do. Otherwise, you'll get get an echo. I was irritated. When you're on, on TeamSpeak, then uh, mute my stream. User entered your channel. Thanks, Stephen. I'll relay that. Mm -hmm. Hi, John. Good morning, John. Hi, John. And uh, greetings from Stephen. Good luck to all. His sound is not working, so... Yeah, hello, Stephen. Yeah, I hear my voice double. Someone has opened the microphone so far. Ah, John. I'll take a look at it. 
No, it's better. User joined your channel. Good afternoon. Hello, Martin. Hi, Martin. Hi, Martin. Hi, Martin. Hi, Martin. Hi, guys. Yeah, the cloud event was nice. Was a uh, uh, an US selling conversion, I thought. Which uh, area was it in Germany? In the Europe Park in Rust. Yeah, I didn't know Rust where it is. And Rust was closed, but for the event, a uh, few uh, attractions running, and uh, only for the visitors with the pass. And uh, next time I will do this more uh, to join the park because uh, I had only two sessions that I learned something. Rest was only selling stuff. Okay, and which uh, big city is in the vicinity? Sorry? I didn't know the, the, the name Rust, Rust. Where is it? Southeast of Germany. Southeast, okay. It's uh, one hour uh, near Basel. Yeah, I understand. And the Europe Park is uh, one of the biggest, uh, uh, how would I say that, uh, fun park in Europe. Yeah, okay. And I was impressed about the hotel. They built uh, five hotels. And each hotel has uh, 300 or 400 uh, rooms. Uh, it's, it's huge, really huge. Does the ASW 20 have a little PDA on the right? Yeah. Oh, I've got my water. And I have news to Gert. I've uh, ordered my Quest 3. Oh, you did? Wow. Great. Very cool. Maybe tomorrow uh, or on Monday, sorry. Wow. It's going to blow your mind, dude. Have yeah, a nice I told him and, yeah, it's, it's very, very nice and uh, you will see. Good you decision. Go, you are going all in on Condor? I would yeah, but, 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 but the tip, uh, beginning smooth, uh, not so much time at the beginning. Yeah, try like 10 minutes and then like give it a rest and then up it from there. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah, also mm -hmm. use uh, FPV flight. I have also a Google for FPV, FPV flight or something like this. Okay, I will do. Yeah, Gerd, you used to get motion sick from uh, VR, but you you have got used to it now? Yeah, definitely. I, uh, I bought my first uh, VR goggles, I think, three years ago. And, uh, yeah, did too much. Be in Condor, fly at the beginning one hour, two hours, and uh, not that was uh, what Rose uh, told. And uh, yeah, I became motion sick, very swizzle. Go to the doctor, <coughs> sell my goggles. And uh, yeah, I heard a lot of uh, guys here, older than me, are <laughs> playing and, and using that stuff. So I talked with my wife. 
I must uh, learn it and I must buy a, a new one. And now I buy an Quest 2 and gave me time and uh, no problem, no problem. No. I mean, some of us have no problem. I just picked it up and did it pretty much. But some people are more sensitive. But there's a way, there's a way through there if you just take it easy. Yeah, I noticed Dieter, 87 years old, and uh, he take it three, four hours each day, no problems. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Bless him. Yeah. There's still the, holy crap, the first time you pull over and, you know, go over a hallelujah past or you crash the plane, you know, and, it's, you know, you wet your pants the first couple of times, but after, you know, there's, you still got that going. But you may not get sick. Yeah, I used Trek IR um, many, many years before and crashed much more than now. That's not. That's much better, better now in the Alps also. Yeah, but I mean, we do have, you know, Dennis went to the VR and he decided Trek IR was better. So, you know, different strokes for different folks and all the pens are all different. So, yeah, you were fine. To me, VR is the cast me out. Is there a way to fine tune the goggle, the VR goggle? Again? Is there a way to fine tune the virtual reality Google? Because most of sickness is uh, about the synchronizing part. When it's not fine synchronized and you are irritized about the eyes and the angle, uh, then you get motion sickness. Okay. Well, make sure your sure computer is fast enough the frame rate stays up and then now. Uh, I know you can accept the people with just and stuff like that on them. Yeah, I ended up buying a new computer when I got the R. <laughs> I just couldn't, I couldn't put a better graphics card in my other one. Didn't have enough, enough power supply. Oddly enough, I heard of an experiment uh, some years ago with uh, children getting sick from uh, driving in the car. And they put on some special goggles with a shutter, limiting the frame rate to 25 or 30 frames per second, and it disappeared. Okay. And I think that's weird because low frame rate it makes you sick in a in a computer game. In VR. Yeah. But it, it, it's not specifically the frame rate, it's uh, the latency between in the frame shown. So, like, if you move your head and then it, the, it's not delayed by yes. more than like one frame, it's one thing, but if there's a the longer the delay is, the worse it oh, is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The latency is the problem. RTU does better today. It seems like he's been crashing out a lot or failing.
So Tim, is there anything you feel you need to do for the pro championship to prepare? Mm, no, it's hard to prepare. We train on Tim Tim every day. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Experience, I think. I'm, I'm honored to be your sparring partner and helping you out. <laughs> Thanks, Bruce. I think my biggest problem is that I don't like the gaggles. I tend to go my own way. Yeah. I know you kind of learned in the, uh, I think it was the SGP stuff, you were kind of going your own way, but I think you learned you needed to stay more with the group a little more. Yeah. Is it just that it's really crowded? That's the problem? Yeah. Everybody at the same height. And really yeah. crowded. Yeah. So so glider flying is like NASCAR. All the cars are in one big lump all turning left. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and if there's an accident in the front, everyone below gets wrecked. <laughs> No, you can't talk, but seeping. See, but uh, nice uh, Congo greeny skin, man. I like how fast the plumes jump off the ground. Club, club class with no water. <laughs> Enter your channel. Hello, Richard. Hi, Richard. Hi, Richard. Hey. Hi, Richard. Hey, Richard. Hello, Richard. Hello. If you're not, if you're not any of 15 seconds. Oh, the yes, Sir Three should still be open. Oh, yeah, you are connected to the server. Yeah. And then you have, you have a, like a minute or so. I can't remember how long it is. Two, I think. You have to get it in. Good news, there's no water. <laughs> okay.
Was the start height 22 or 24? 24. 25. Uh, 25. Thank you. 25? Is no, it 24? 24. Yeah, I thought it was 24. Uh, it looks like most people are playing, playing at ASW20s and a few of everything else scared about. I, did. I think most went, uh, voted for 24. Thank you, Nancy. Okay. So, uh, good luck to all from Mike. He can't fly today. Hello, Mike. Thanks, Mike. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mike. Uh, go cloud here, five. Yeah, that one is good. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's not anyway. We're near the start. Was the uh, cloud flying allowed? That was the other question. No. 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 Thank you, guys. Oh wow, Garrett, you're way out there. No, yes. Oops. Oh, what happened, Richard? Ah, uh, it's 11 kilometers. It's a FAI ahead, 35 and 10 minutes to go to the start. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you made it? Wow. Yeah, I made it. I turned, uh, just over start line and <laughs> pushing was good. There's a boot. Kicked by the server. Okay. There is a boot. Oh, were you still in the lobby? No, I got kicked out. There is a blue thermal on the start line on the uh, north, halfway down the line on the north side. Yeah, Geert, I think you're getting blown further away too. Yeah, not much. It'd be better than 35 kilometers. It'll, it'll be less than that anyway. Yeah, today no problem. Viking is also here. Yep, I'm still here. Yes, yeah, you. And of course, I didn't. I don't know. Uh, I forgot to see if there was any uh, height. Uh, uh, what is it called? Re Obstacles? Height restrictions uh, on the start. So. MPT. 2400 meters. MPT Thanks. has his wheel down. Can somebody text that? MPT. 2400 meters. Uh, thank you. Now we have 1000 more. <laughs> thank you very much for the information. No problem. Good job, Danny. Oh, there's two of us on the server here. <laughs> Yeah, again, the question uh, for the Como Map users. I use also Como Map, and my plan uh, looks in the wrong direction with the nose to southwest now, not to the northwest. Uh, southwest, east, not northwest. Any problems, any tips? 
I had an issue with it. I don't use it, so I can't help you. <laughs> yeah, I didn't find uh, something about uh, the plane symbol to uh, calibrate to change. I don't know what to say, Gerd. I've not come across that one. Yeah, you know what I mean. And uh, when I fly to the north, the um, plane symbol in Como Map uh, shows me the north to the south. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I know what you mean, but I don't know what would cause it. Wait, does the does the plane symbol rotate though? So, like, if you fly, if you're circling, does it still rotate around, or is it always the same direction? No, not not that circling. Uh, when I fly now straight, uh, always. No, but, but what I'm saying though is, does it ever move, or, or does it always just stay fixed in one direction? No, it moves. Yeah. Yeah, it, it does. Yeah, it does turn when you turn. Yeah. 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 You have. Gert, you have one or two symbols for the airplane? One symbol. Okay. Is it what color is it? It's white. White? Yes. And it moves. You probably it moves, are yeah. looking at relative o wind. Only the, the wrong direction, 180 degrees. Yeah, you're probably looking at relative wind instead of the fixed heading. One of them should be there's two of them, but I think you have to do that in a setup. So you probably the wind, look wind, at wind, the wind direction and the speed uh, shows me right. Yeah, the wind direction. What, what I'm thinking is, is that you what you're saying is that the relative wind to your airplane. So the wind is the, yeah, the relative wind of mine is a blue arrow. Yeah. You level out. It should agree to where the winds are. Really. Check your uh, check your drift angle on the uh, when you're circling, and see if it doesn't work out that way. Well, if the if the direction of the wind on his display changes when he turns, then he knows it's not wind direction all the time. Everyone realizes he's talking about Como map, not right. Yeah. Oh, it's Como map. I'm sorry. Forgive me. I I missed that point. Okay. I thought he was somebody. Totasa. Well, somebody had that problem before, Garrett. I don't know who. I know you guys have talked about it. Yeah. Okay. Garrett's the only one that's talked about it, I think. I remember yeah, talking about I it once talked before. About it, yeah. Okay. Sorry, but Garrett. I hadn't, I hadn't it uh, before. I uh, installed the version, what is it, uh, 1.2 now. And I had it before also, 1.2, then delete it and make it new, and then I have it now, I don't know. It's not a big problem to see the plane on the wrong direction, but uh, all is working fine. Maybe all I can think just good is uninstall it and try reinstalling it. Yeah, yeah. I'll do it again, no problem. And yeah, make, make sure you, if you want me to install it, make sure you delete the settings for it in when you say that the settings are clear because it could be missing and got so weird. I found nothing uh, about the plan and the settings for Como Map. I might look at the you know, I, I loaded it up one time and maybe didn't like it, so I didn't use it. See where I use XC Solar, but I might take a look at it again and see if I can see anything. Yeah, the first step is I deinstalled or delete and uh, make a new. Obviously. Oh, the gate's already open. <laughs> Yeah. I was gonna say, yeah, not not yet. <laughs> but it could be someone who took it from me. Now to figure out how how to get a clean VME start with this thing. Don't fly it often enough. Well, which I got. Yeah, good luck, Laura. Man, it's buoyant out here in the middle of the valley. 
I'm like neutral out here. I have a very strong blue thermal where I'm at here. I'm up, oh, wow. Just on the start line. Yeah, yeah, that was one I, I climbed up in. Yeah. Hello, please. Hey. I'm debating to take that cloud, I guess not. Uh -huh. I went to the start in a four a four flap setting. Oh my gosh. This thing was dropping like a rock. Yeah, Stephen is not. Um, oh, he, he is in the chat. He, 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 he is talking. So we can call him bad names and he can't say anything about it. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm back, Bruce. Uh, yeah, thanks, guys. I, I haven't restarted yet. I'm going to be going through the start line of gate a few times here. I'm circling. Well, apparently there was no point in going off to the west because the only went was able to go straight over anyway in the middle. <laughs> Struggling, Kevin? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, man. No, John is also pushing the LS4 here. Hello.
And all the clouds are going around over the start. F1 stopped the climb? Yeah, I saw it. Yeah, it looks good climb for that. I hope all on the channel here. Yeah, I'm on the left, I hope. Yeah, <laughs> Kevin, if he, it's probably, I guess you can't get here. Really strong here. What's the call sign there? LIG. Gotcha. I'll, I'm trying to work my way over there. Yeah, it's, it's a, I think it might be going over the mountain here. We'll see. Go. Cool. I think it's slowed down already, but it's it's dropping down to like four or five instead of you know six. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I'm sorry. I think it's going slowly going over. I think you're too low. Okay. Well, Martin, there's a small swimming pool under you. You see. There is a cloud out by you, Kevin. You see it above you? Yes, I'm trying. I'm circling a little bit of that lift there. This clock's getting old, but strength's hanging in there. I think it's way out of your reach, though. So I'm up in the fives again. It's going to die in that tomorrow.
Okay. Good luck now. Man, thanks. Good luck. This thing really doesn't drop as quickly when you're doing V and E uh, and flap one instead of flap four. Yeah, I saw you can't hop over. I, I couldn't get over it. Now I'm trapped in a dead end with no lift anywhere. So I'll go find a nice little spot to park in. You guys try to go north of the blue line? I know. Or did you guys go south of the blue line? Uh, north, I think, fine, Bruce. Yeah, that's what DGT is doing, too. Funny, I was thinking it was the way to go south, huh? You do whatever, Bruce. No, I mean, guys, it's, some it's guys went here. south. Okay. Seems like the smart kids went north. Yeah, the going south was terrible. <laughs> the, the going south was not a good way to go. Everyone who went north is ahead and faster. Didn't turn soon enough. Or west? You mean, you mean west of the blue line? Northwest. Disconnected from the channel. Yeah, go, going west around around that that first corner to the west, we was slower than going just straight down the blue line. Basically, is what everyone else did, and it worked. They were much further ahead. Oh really? They went down the blue line. Yeah. But they were still northwest of the a little northwest of the blue line, right? No, they were, the looks like everyone went over. A little bit to the right of the blue line, and then once they crossed over into the next valley, they went. Yeah, you know, then they went west across. I got you. Well, it's not what but, DGT is doing. Yeah, he went. He went all the way north. He went can north the way to the left onto that first corner. Yeah, that that, that didn't help. That was. You're just all that was is just a long deviation for nothing. This cool looking little, little oh, yeah, road going up in this valley with a neat looking little stream at. Oh, and Dan, do you disconnect it? Oh, he crashed. Yeah, both. And the guy that was following him crashed too. The guy following him.
Good time. Hold it to this task up. I'm looking at here, mate, and there's planes all over the place. I don't know, is it so many different routes people are taking. Yeah, I squandered my altitude with, you know, not making up my mind properly at first. It came, it's pretty dang high coming out of the first ridge. Don't worry about it, mate. I'm slow as snot. Yeah. That's a nice flight. It was nice he gave us a high start. That would have been even more interesting with a low start.
It was RTU that was following DGT to the end there. Too bad. And JF is up there. Juliet Fox. Good luck, uh, Kevin. Thank you very much. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck.
Congrats. Congrats, Tim. Congrats, Tim. Congrats, Tim. Nice to give. Thanks. Congrats. Okay. Congrats. Congrats. Congrats, Danny. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Thanks. I'm liking it. Rough Rifle. Rough Rifle. Rough Rifle. Congrats, Ray. Congrats. Congrats.
My F one's down there. Yeah, not wondering about that. Well, it was a good jump, much. Yeah. I don't know what I'm going to do from here, though. Well, it's all downhill from here. <laughs> yeah. If I had another 2,000 meters, I'd be a straight flight home. Yeah.
Need to pretty high riches. Oh no, that's uh, not riches. That's Rob. Well, I stopped and went up to about 4,300. Blowing up here. Hi Martin. Hi Martin. Someone hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Yeah, Martin didn't hear me, I think.
See that, Jared? Say again? Morton said his mic is gone on the text. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, Martin. Yeah, it's going to off here. One more. Can you hear me now? Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Okay. Okay. okay, I was <clears throat> unfortunately have turned on the uh, mic, sorry. Yeah, I was wondering. Okay. Yeah. You're a nice guy, I guess, so... <laughs> I saw you and I hear you all the time. Congrats to Stephen for making the turn point. Yeah, cool. congrats, Stephen. Congrats, Stephen. Congrats. 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 And then. Congrats, Bruce. Congrats. 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 Well, I got final at point eight MC. Nice. <laughs> That's something. Did you get the wave at the uh, Mount Visa? Did I take what wave? The wave, since it was on the uh, final high. Uh, came across a ridge and it was really strong in one spot and I just went back and forth a little bit in there, I guess. I don't know, I my, I, ridge or wave, I'm not sure. I was, I was way, you know, 4,000 something before I left.
Looking good, Kevin. Thanks. Finally got some altitude here. I know the feeling. <laughs> yeah, it's a certainly a relief. Make sure you got enough to make a decent cut so you can follow the blue line after the turn point. Right. Although I guess you could go low and fast. Some of the guys had to go back down the other blue line. They reached the first leg. Now I can see your track, so I'm going to aim for that. Yeah, if you take the the second leg blue line properly, I think you can come out of it with basically final uh, by the time you hit the lowlands. I've got like 1.1 right now. Final. Excellent. But that last set of ridges before the finish looks kind of ugly. Yeah, we're through. Same as all, it's a moment. Yeah. Without, without any sink, a free uh, McCready gets you across, straight across. But there's probably going to be some sink from the lead of the higher to the north side. Okay, thanks. Got a ways to go to three McCready. Yeah, F1 stopped in at first and so was. We had a five, five and a half, about 40K from the finish. F1 put himself in trouble. He's about 10k ahead, and now he's having to work. He left that thermal high enough to do it at about 190, and he must have run a lot faster than that. Now he's having to work the bridge to get up, go across the middle. Yeah, he's paying his dues. 
Yeah. And I had a cloud right on the ridge here, and I was looking at my chops, and it was just like nothing there. I just can't believe it. I even sniffed around a little. There is definitely sink in the lee of the higher stuff. Oh, this was going right right on the slope. It was really nice. I was getting ready to brag about my thermal, but I couldn't. Tim and Rich went uh, way north of the blue line, up into the high terrain. Wow. Interesting idea, actually. And you could come in, you could just be on the north side of that uh, yep. mountain right before the end. Brilliant. When they separated, they, I was only four kilometers behind the now I'm nine kilometers behind Well, that's not that much. Better. Yeah. Four to five, you, you, it was four and now it's five, you said? It was four and now it's nine. Oh, nine. Oh, it was, well, five to ten, okay. He made it. Yep. Wow. Yeah, getting a the thermal on the way on this long stretch is really the key.
Rich. 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 Six three. I like it. I got 3.6. Dennis, you think that's enough? Yeah. Cool. I did a little jigging trying to keep the speed up, but there's a little to work on the rib ridges right here on that's the gas. That's good. That's good. I think that's good. Congrats. Congrats. Okay. Yeah, going south was not the baddest idea. No. If you were low, you didn't have a choice though, right? No, that was no problem. I can could go uh, north too. At the turn point, I was going to turn the same as everyone else and head south. But I actually pushed across that into the north. Yep. I pretty much followed the blue line out of the turn point. Well, no, I guess I followed the ridge a little ways going northwest, but then I turned onto the blue eventually.
Trying to speed up here. I'm at three nine now. Congrats, Morton. Congrats, Morton. Congrats. Morton. Thank you, Ryan. Congrats. Yeah, there were so many ways to go. It was not obvious. Those yeah, are the good tasks. Especially on that first leg. There was gliders to the left, gliders to the head, gliders to the right, all over the place. I don't give up, guys. I'm still on there. Very good. In there. Ah, man, I barked it totally today. Does See you all next time. See you. See you, Dennis. See you. See you, Dennis. Very good, User Viking. That looks channel. very yeah. good. It was very bad. No? Ah, this is incredibly bad flying from my part. I can't believe it. There are a lot of guys who are not faster with a 20. Give me a few more minutes more and I'll get there and you'll feel better. There'll be people who are... Viking. Congrats, Viking. Thank you. Thank you very much. Congrats, Viking. It's top 10, what you're knowing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you've been at absent from a Condor for a year? Yeah, it's my third flight for one and a half year. And you are, have never been, been gliding in real life? I think that's very... I, I've never tried to fly in real life, no. <laughs> Way to go. I, I'm really trying. I, w I was actually invited this summer. You have always, uh, you have uh, also invited me, but I know that, Tim, but uh, I got another invitation for this summer, but I don't know if my, I'll have to wait and see. Maybe I'm lucky to try and fly this year. Well, my license, uh... doesn't work anymore it expired 37 years ago so i hope i oh. didn't invite you <laughs> yeah but there was some of the other guys uh, on um, from the airfield around the area, area where you live they were talking about they could they might take me on a on a ride <laughs> I yeah don't know. yeah i remember i think you should try a, a a ride in a, a glider once. We can, you can uh, come to Arnbor uh, when we have the Danish championship and, and look all the gliders there. It was Arnbor, of course, the Danish glider flying central. <laughs> oh yeah, thank okay. you very much. Thank you. It would be amazing just to try it out in real life. Yeah, I finished my real flying uh, four weeks ago. Wow, yeah, congrats. Because, uh, no, no, I finished it uh, because medical, not not uh, good. Fantastic. Hey, uh, what's happened, Gerd? 
uh, hard troubles. Is it because you get so obsessed when you're flying uh, Condor sometimes, or...? No, I don't think so. Okay, so can can you get your medical again? No. Walker? I tried it uh, two and a half years now, and now I give up. Yeah, okay. but at least you made your decision, Gerd. And yeah, now you, was, you can relax more, about it. Yeah, it was more the authorities uh, had things. Yeah. yeah, how old are you? He's about your age, Morten. Okay. You notice me, Morten, uh, we, uh, we met us? Yeah, I forgot where you are. Okay. I can easily remember. You come and visit us. Yeah, it was 2019. Yeah. Five, five years ago. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Time when, running. when Morten won the Danish championship. Very, All right. Very nice day. Wow. Yeah, that was nice. And we have it all on video. <laughs> yeah. Har du det på video? Ligger det jo på tuben, Morten? Nej, jeg tror, jeg tror, det var... Jeg, jeg tror, Tim tog en masse video af det. Ja, du prøver at søge på det. Øh, ja. Inde på, på min øh, YouTube-kanal. Okay. Så prøv at søge på Arnborg og DM inde på min side. Okay. Ja, altså, der ligger flere tusind videoer, så... <laughs> ja, ja. Øj, det skal jeg bare ind og kigge. Fedest! Oh. Hast du das gesehen, Andreas, das Video, wo ich in Dänemark war mit Tim? Ich kam noch nicht dazu. Ich war ja in Deutschland. Und, äh, ich weiß gar nicht, hatte ich dir einen Link geschickt aber, oder gesagt, ja, ja. dass es das gibt, ne? Du hast das geschickt, ja. Nee, mich hat es äh, traurigerweise direkt ins Bett gehauen. Ich äh, bin krank seit gestern. Oh. Aber fürs Fliegen reicht es. Also jetzt schwitze ich, gestern habe ich gefroren. Und äh, ich schaue es mir noch an. Hat sich Corona erwischt oder nicht? Nee, nee, einfach erkältet. Es war so herrlich, okay. ich habe die Jacke nicht äh, angezogen und das hat sich gerecht. Ja, ist noch die Jahreszeit dafür, ja. Ich werde jedes Mal besser. Natürlich. So, jetzt den Weg zurück. Nice landing, Viking. Very Thank nice, you. Viking. Thank you. I'll see if I can uh, provide the link in the Denmark tab. Just a second. Oh, thank you. Oh, I, re I have to remember to... <laughs> I think I have uh, still a link for the server. I have to save that too. Ja, da you, kannst du noch way. mal abgreifen hier bei Teamspeak, ne? Tim stellt noch mal rein. Yes. Okay, guys, I'll jump out. Thank you for a nice flight and uh, have a nice evening. Okay, Martin. Yeah, thank you. you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. User disconnected from your channel. Bye-bye. Have a nice Bye. one. Bye. Cheers. Also ich habe eure Flüge habe ich geguckt, einfach später, als ich im, äh, in der Pension war. Interessant, ne, oder? So die, mit der Moderation und so? Ja. Es ist schon sehr realistisch. Also ich sehe schon, ich mache auch Fortschritte. Es ist einfach ein bisschen am Lesen. Ich habe jetzt äh, die größte Irritation habe ich mit der Windhose, wie sie das den Windrichtung angegeben hat. Aber langsam wahrscheinlich erst zu kopieren, wie es funktioniert. Ach, Cotase hast du also auch installiert schon? Immer. Noch nicht. Ach so. Ich fliege immer noch ohne Hilfe. Ich dachte, das äh, hast du schon laufen hier mit dem Windfall, mit äh, günstigen Horizont. Nee, nee, ich habe montags noch gearbeitet und äh, musste dann mich beeilen, dass ich noch äh, mit dem Fahrzeug losfahren konnte, dass ich noch die Pension erreicht habe. Und äh, ich hatte wenig Zeit im Moment. Aber ich habe es äh, runtergeladen, ich habe es bei mir. Und ich werde es mal noch installieren dann bei Zeiten. Ich war jetzt mal noch ja. auf die Oculus. Ja, genau. Ja, das ist sehr sinnvoll. Kannst du auch unter VR alles schön platzieren, das passt. User disconnected from your channel. So, I provided two links from uh, 
2018 and 2019 from uh, the Danish uh, Championship. Yes. Thank you very much. I'm sorry, I'm fumbling around here. <laughs> Ja, hast mitgekriegt, ne, Andreas? Tim hat das nochmal hier in Teamspeak reingestellt unten, ne? Ja, ich habe was ge gehört. Ja, kannst du unten die Karteikarte, muss mal gucken, unter Dänemark, da findest du es auch ja. später nach dem Flug. Nee, ich bin da höchst konzentriert auf die Thermik. Oder ja, die, auf jeden die Fall. Die zu finden Fall. vor allem. <lacht> Aber es fliegt sich schon lockerer als auch schon. Also das Joystick ist gut. Der ist oh, gut, den hat Tim ja schön. auch, ja. Der 16.000 Bruce hat den auch. Ich denke, es sind wieder die Basics, die da zurückkommen, auch vom Modell fliegen. Also den Flieger fliegen lassen, nur die Richtung vorgeben, schöne Kurven fliegen, nicht richtig, zu eng richtig. und dann kommt's. Ja, wobei die Thermik ist schon unterschiedlich eingestellt hier im Condor. Manchmal muss da auch eng fliegen, hier muss, muss er gucken. Ja. Also ich habe jetzt ein bisschen äh, das Gefühl rausgekriegt für die, für die Flaps. Und wenn ich die Flaps ganz rausknalle, dass ich da wirklich mit dem Seitenruder dann äh, reingehe, sonst eher weniger. Ja, bei der 20 darfst du auf jeden Fall nicht die Landeklappen äh, beim Thermic fliegen nehmen, ne? weil das Ding bremst gewaltig. Bei der das ich gesehen. 15 geht das gut. Ja, das habe ich gesehen. Ja, die ist doch lustig, die dass alle denselben Flieger gewählt haben. Sind fast alle mit demselben geflogen. Ja, es ist halt der beste Clubflieger mit, ne? Und da hat man die <lacht> Safety-Chancen, ne? Okay. Jetzt zu Beginn hatte ich Probleme. Ich habe zu Beginn nichts gefunden und dann äh, bin ich weggesoffen und zum Glück nicht notlanden müssen und kam dann wieder hoch, aber da war ich schon weg. Ja, das ist dann schlecht, wie gesagt, wenn man keinen so zur Orientierung noch hat, ne? Ja. Hey, Bruce. Hey, Gell. Kaka, Bruce. Hey man. Bruce, this cloud is perfect, but I think you didn't need that. No. <laughs> no. Coming in at MC5. Oh, yes. Which means I climbed too high, I guess. Well, I needed it to get over this stuff, though. Yeah, I'm wondering, hold my six space, great. Also, mit dem Hochladen weißt du auch, ne, Andreas? Ich hatte gesehen, dass du keinen Flug hochgeladen hattest beim letzten Mal, wie das geht, ja, ne? Nee, ich bin noch zu schlecht. Ich warte damit noch. Ah, okay, okay. Aber es ist eine gute Referenz. Ich fliege nicht so gerne alleine. Wenn ich die anderen sehe, äh, fliegen sehe, ist es interessant irgendwie. Ja, ist auch einfacher natürlich. Aber die Wolken gingen heute wirklich gut, also bis fünf hoch. Ich bin weit unten. Ich kam nie so hoch heute. Ich bin in den Tälern drin. Ah, okay. So Rest Bruce. Rest Bruce. Rest Bruce. Very nice. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Congrats.
here comes Jeff in his big ass. Very nice. Oh, yeah. gespannt, wenn die Brille da ist, wie es mit der Brille ist. <lacht> Kannst du nicht vergleichen. Absolut nicht vergleichbar. Wie gesagt, du musst nur wissen, die Auflösung ist natürlich etwas schlechter, ja, aber äh, unverwechselbar, wirklich. Von Condor 3 habt ihr nichts mehr gehört? Leider nicht, aber ich denke mal schon, dass es jetzt äh, Nächsten Monat vermute ich selber. April. Also von der Ankündigung her sollte es diesen Monat eigentlich sein, weil die sagten im September, also innerhalb der nächsten sechs Monate. Jetzt hatte sich das etwas verschoben, weil die noch so ein Softwareproblem gefunden hatten, aber ich kann mir nicht vorstellen, dass das bis in den Sommer reingeht oder so. Hoffen wir jedenfalls alle nicht. Nice job there, Bridge. Very strong. Thank you, Bruce. I sort of try something a little bit different, and fortunately, it worked out quite well. Yeah, I mean, that's even better. That's even more satisfying. Okay, chaps, see you another time. I've got a house full of kids and grandkids, so... Oh, hi, Did you finish? Yeah, yeah, I did. I, after I sawed backwards and forwards to get the 900. Oh, okay. Congrats. <laughs> okay, congrats. congrats see everybody. you, Richard. Okay, see you, Richard. Bye. See you later, Richard. Enjoy okay, time with the grandkids, mate. Enjoy. User disconnected from your channel. Well, I guess I, I did okay. I just saw the results. Uh, I, I thought I was way down on the list. No, you did so. very well, Viking. Oh, yeah, that was not too yeah. shabby. Thank you. Bad. That was good. A great flight. Thanks for the flight, guys, and thanks for the everything. <laughs> the links and uh, the service for the server and everything, Tim. So... And our Thanks great company. Yeah. Sure, man. Have See a good weekend. See you, Viking. Hope we catch you tomorrow. See you later. later. Yeah. See you tomorrow. User disconnected. Oh, sorry. See you, Van. Yeah, Tim, thanks for the links. I will have a look and uh, good final, Kevin and Andreas. See you next time. Thank you. Yeah. Bye. Have a look uh, again, Gerd, Fond Memories. Right. Yeah, I wish you uh, good luck, Andreas, and uh, hope to see you, you maybe tomorrow and next yeah. weekend. Sure. Very good. Bye bye. Bye. Bye bye. See you, yeah. Tim. Have a good evening, mate. Bye-bye. Disconnected.